The beauty of the compass comes from its simplicity and also from its metaphorical power. But it's important to recognize the, the, the complexity underlying, underlying the compass. The compass itself originated from a meeting between the Balaton group, who are a, a group of international politicians, academics, writers, amongst many other fields, um, who are united in a, a concern for sustainable development. And the meeting was between the Balaton group, this group, and also the Dutch National Institute for Public Health and the Environment. The, the aim of this meeting w was to create some indicators of sustainable development. Much in the same way that we've now just had finalized, I believe, the, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which are following from the Millennium Development Goals. Um, this meeting was aimed at you know, creating, I guess, sort of beta versions of, of the Sustainable Development Goals and, and metrics behind them. During this meeting, um, Danella Meadows, who is, is famous for initially writing, um, or being one of the lead writers of the Limits to Growth, um, and also being the inspiration behind the, the Meadows Institute, she suggested using um, a pyramid which was first constructed, or a triangle constructed by a, a, a former World Bank economist and, and prominent author, um, who created a, a pyramid structure which was called, Herman Daly was his name, and, and created this pyramid. And, and the idea behind this pyramid was that it had four stages really. It, it began with um, nature as the ultimate means for everything we do, and worked from economy to society to ultimately to well-being, which represented, um, individual well-being represented the ultimate end, so the kind of purpose of, of existence, if you like. Um, now, in this meeting, there were some concerns raised about this hierarchical structure. Um, maybe that it was too linear, um, but certainly the people amongst this meeting just felt that it wasn't quite right. And so Alan Ankerson, um, who is a very prominent author, but also consultant behind the Action Group, who advise political groups like the UN and also corporate groups, um, on sustainable development, on sustainability, embedding sustainability. He suggested, look, we, did, we should just flatten the structure um, and turn this hierarchical um, model into a, into a, a flat model, non-hierarchical model, circular model, um, using the same, same compass point ideas, the same, well, actually, these points then became the compass points, nature being north, economy being, being east, society being south, and well-being being west, and so, you know, it was a stroke of good fortune that that not only could it, it it become this flattened systems thinking tool, but it could also have the metaphorical power of of the of the navigational compass behind it, which of course works well with the idea of navigating to a, a sustainable future. So there, are, that's the background behind the compass. Uh, I hope that helps you to get a little bit more insight into its sort of theoretical and evolutionary context.